kind of the last question that will be for everybody. Um, this is this should be really fast one. Uh, did you vote in the primary and general elections? Why or why not? Yes. I vote in every election. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely, because if you don't vote, you're part of the problem. Do well. Thanks all. I urge each and every one of you to do your research. Okay? So I've done some research, and I'm part of the election integrity. And with the election integrity, I did my research. And out of my research of my candidates, I found one that had foreclosure in his property, and something to drug-related. And then another one that claimed one restaurant was the cause of crime down Main Street. And I've been in Klamath for 1970, so it's always had a reputation. But yet, in the newspaper article from Herald and News, it said they called this particular restaurant the instigators and called them waiters, and then they had a, a, a racial account against them. And so with that, I'm going to ask my panel if that were you, would you dismiss yourself from this campaign? So I'll take the first part of that because you mentioned the foreclosure and you're talking about my family. So I'll specifically answer that. Yeah, briefly, my home was in foreclosure. Two years ago, my wife came down with a devastating illness that left her incapacitated and unable to work for 18 months. Okay, like many people around Clinton County, we're literally one health crisis away from being devastated. Okay, my family's faced that firsthand. Okay. So yeah, briefly, we were in foreclosure. I'm happy to say we've refinanced our house and we've worked with our mortgage lender and we've solved that issue. Okay, and we've moved past that. Okay. Um, there's others that have tried to make that a big issue in this campaign, but for me, I'm happy to explain it. I'm happy to explain it to anybody that asks. So at the same time, you know, we all have to be cognizant of that. We all have to think and look within ourselves and think about what challenges do we face? Okay. I'm happy to say my wife's better, my wife's back to work, and we're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. So, is this a question to all? Okay. No, I feel like she's calling me out second. So, Brandon, good job, brother. That was a good answer. I'm proud of you for standing up for your family. God bless you. Um, I find it unfortunate that people want to use things negative about people or against people when they haven't been proved guilty. So this is a great country where people are innocent until they're proven guilty, and I support that. That's a, that's a fundamental way of, of running our, our country and our state. So um, I am currently being sued, myself and three other, I think there are three other people that are still named in the lawsuit from a restaurant downtown. I can't speak at great length on it because it is an active lawsuit. We are still waiting for a judge to make a ruling on that lawsuit. But I will um, tell you this. That establishment has made a claim that they were treated differently than any of the any of the other businesses in downtown Klamath Falls, but yet uh, we posted four establishments, not just one, and the other three were not minorities; they were Caucasians. So I'm looking forward to the day that uh, we are fully vindicated and proven innocent. So when people bring things up like this to try to tarnish my character, I can say, "Told you." So I'm extremely proud of my 28 year career in law enforcement. I'm extremely proud of being your police chief or the police chief in Klamath Falls and I wouldn't change a thing I did. Crime when I left was down um, downtown, it, was, it had dropped 59%. So I think I made some pretty good decisions. When I got hired, we were ranked as one of the top 10 worst places to live in Oregon. And the fourth year I was there, we were the 15th safest town in Oregon. So I wouldn't change a thing. We're glad that Brandon worked through his problem. He addressed that. And I'm glad, he, I'm glad he's moving on. Being that I did work for law firms, I do recognize the law and I support it because it has its purpose and it's to protect the people. I do believe it's in Article 11 of the Oregon Constitution. And it does state, even the word may is used, with public monies. Anybody that creates a liability 
should restrain themselves from running for office. You can look that up, you can interpret it any way you want, but uh, that's what the law says. So in that particular case, um, would I restrain myself from running for a position until that was taken care of? Absolutely, because we believe in the Constitution and we believe in the law, and that's what we stand for. Thank you. And I was in foreclosure uh, a year ago uh, with my house because I'm an international photographer and the pandemic came along. And so I sold my house and I moved to Klamath Falls. And uh, I'm glad to be here. It's happy to be running for office. And, um, you know, we need to come together as a community. And uh, that's one of the things that um, I did break the story and put out the information because I think people need to know as a journalist uh, what we're struggling with. But at the same time, you have to, number one, know, recognize what's going on, and then come up with a solution. Fortunately, Brandon solved the solution before we were able to ask the community to do a GoFundMe. So, you know, those are some things that, that's where my heart is, is we're trying to help people. You know, you're innocent until proven guilty. And so I'm good with that, but at the same time, there's no harm in saying there is a pending, there is a pending case, and let's look at this and find out what it's all about. So, thank you very much. Thanks, Sean.